Hey everyone, this is Neviro and welcome to The Nevi Academy! First of all, the tutorials I'm making are meant for you. You don't have to be a professional, you can just be a beginner. And I'm going to tell you the stuff the pros won't tell you. So we probably all been there. You made that killer track a while ago and you want to make an edit or a remix or the label requests some stems and you know you're screwed because you didn't export anything except the master file. Well that's exactly what I want to cover today. Saving your final project file. So let's take for example my track Little Astronaut. I made it back in 2019 if I recall correctly. And I was really happy I was able to retrieve everything I needed because I switched from a DAW. So I went from Ableton to Nuendo. I am not using the uh, audio unit plugins anymore, but I'm using VST instead. I went even from macOS to Windows just for producing. So I wouldn't be able to open the project as it was made back then. Well, luckily, I'm a guy who exports everything. And I think you should too, especially when you're ready with your project. Compose a file, uh, call it whatever you like, but I have a map, which is everything related to the audio. I have my acapella files, I have my lyrics written out, I have my master files in all different formats. So I got a stereo file, I got a Dolby Atmos file, and I got a 7.1.4 mastered file. Um, then I have the mixes. So that's basically the same file, but without mastering applied on top of it. These were my old masters. Here are some presets I used, which I saved up. The project file, I have the Ableton project file in here. And I have my Dolby Atmos mixing file in there as well. And then probably one of the most important things of all, bounce out your stems. <laughs> so I always divide them in, in as my project was composed. So I have my buses, uh, which are found here. I have my return tracks, so these are basically just my delay and my reverb bus, uh, both the instrumental and the vocal version. And then I have all my separate tracks. The main maps represent the buses I have. So for example, let's go to the main center vocal, if I open it up. Yonder stars. That's my lead layer. That one goes to the main bus and the main bus goes to the vocal bus. So that's actually how it's composed. So I always remember how I made it. Well, I hope you liked this really short tutorial, but I really recommend doing it this way. See you next time, guys.